Hi there, bloke. Stuart Charles here, HomestudioBasics.com, helping you make sound decisions. So, today we're just going to talk, man. Three reasons why you should not purchase a hi fi man headphone, uh, as well as five other reasons why you should. Reason one is definitely uh, cabling issues. Some of the newer iterations, some of the newer models, such as like the Ananda and even the older 400i, well, actually, it has mostly to do with the Ananda. I found that, um, you know, I took one home to demo on a few different occasions and each time I was having uh, difficulties with the termination going into the ear cups, it is, I believe it's a 2.5, maybe 3.5. This one right here on the 4XX looks like a 3.5, but some of them do come with 2.5 uh, millimeter terminations. The older model 400i's actually had coax, which was absolutely just asinine. But they've since fixed that, and so now all the newer um, models have the um, sensible, more sensible types of terminations that are a lot simpler to uh, use. Point being that um, with the Ananda, comes with a 2.5 mil into each ear cup, and I was finding that the sound was cutting out, um, and I confirmed this by kind of wiggling it and sure enough the I think it was the right side or the left it doesn't really matter would start to cut out yeah the cabling is definitely going to be an issue um, not a hundred percent of the time but it definitely falls in line with their quality control issues uh, that I really wish they would rectify because they could really take a leap forward if they just fixed a few a few things about their headphones that I've had ongoing issues now for a few years and yeah, which leads me to my second issue. Uh, the headband yokes were definitely problematic and I think still are. Uh, generally speaking, the 400i has been going for under 200 for a while now and I think part of that is because people people realize that the, the QC issues have become apparent because the newer model 400i's that had started coming out maybe a year or two ago uh, outsourced the materials for the headband and the yoke specifically which explained why um, and it was they were cheaper materials and it explained why the um, people were having tons of issues with the headphone simply just breaking down and the reason why it puzzled me is because I found out that one of the 400i's that I demo um, and still demo to this day was one of the older models so it didn't have any of those issues and I was really um, flabbergasted as to why other people were having a ton of issues it made me not want to recommend the headphone but I couldn't figure out uh, what the problem is was until I stumbled across that post on reddit if you can get an older 400i it's definitely um, the way to go but of course I don't it's hard to tell them apart like it would be unless you got it from a, um, a third party or someone who specifically knew that it was one of the earlier models you would really never know because obviously they're basically identical headphones so yeah the headband and the yokes um, definitely an issue of course I didn't have problems with it and I still don't because the model that I demo is still on the shelf there at audio advice and it's still in pristine condition um, you know aside from some headband or a uh, ear cup padding wear but that's to be expected on all headphones so and if you think about the fact that that headphone has likely been through hundreds if not thousands of hands and it's still um, village bicycle status a she was a hua b she was a hua uh, it's <laughs> it still functions just as good as it did uh, makes you wonder uh, about why you know they they took that route to outsource cheaper materials so the third reason um, why you shouldn't buy a, head, a hi fi man headphone is because of the absolutely horrendous focus pads. Now, uh, my friend, my buddy Intuit Reviews, um, sent me the 4XXs for demo, and you know, I, I like them a lot, but um, he has two sets of pads on these the Deconi pads and the um, original focus pads were in the box. So I demoed them with the Deconis and absolutely loved them. Uh, comfort is really, really good. Uh, it looks like a, it looks and feels like a uh, type of protein leather. So Deconi basically improved tenfold on the issues with the original pads. If you take one off, um, you can see 
that. And I'll put some B-roll up here. The older focus pad, you can see it was draped over the top of the piece of plastic, but it didn't stretch far enough and it was glued on, which is absolutely the stupidest thing they could have ever done because one, the glue was haphazardly put on there. Um, it doesn't stay at all. So if you have any sort of issue getting the, the cup back on, you're likely to peel the, um, the piece off. It'll start to peel all the way around basically, um, little by little. And I've I read reviews, countless reviews, um, talking about this same issue. And it's really, really, uh, it's just, it's horrible because what ends up happening is the cup basically falls apart. Um, of course, you can re-glue it. I had the issue with the 400i at Audio Advice, but I ended up super gluing it back because it's not my headphone. <laughs> and so I wanted to make sure that um, it looked, you know, good when I returned it. Of course, they're probably not going to take it apart and inspect it, but it's just something that I, you know, it's important to me that um, the headphone return back in one piece to the um, the owner and of course here um, with Intuit's reviews as pads I reached out to him and I said you know I'm sorry man but your pads basically fell apart when I was trying to get them off so yeah when I talked to him about it he told me not even to worry because he doesn't use the pads anyways which <laughs> indicates how terrible they really are so yeah definitely go with the uh, Deconis now getting the Deconis back on is a breeze because they um they made it so one the the piece that drapes over the plastic is not glued on and they made it um stretch farther over so there it's never an issue like when you're adjusting the cup it stays in place and it doesn't move whereas with the focus pad it just there's like a thin sliver of pad that that like drapes over so you can imagine if it just breaking down over time so the focus pads are a memory foam if you look inside there uh, you know covered with a protein leather and a little bit of velour it's kind of a an interesting weird design choice but I will say that the focus pads are comfortable but they do um, they do basically come apart over time whereas the Deconis do not so moving into five reasons why you should buy uh, if I man is if you do end up going with the the 4XX or the 400i or the 400s you could just swap out um, those crappy focus pads with the Deconis and you will get a bit better of a um, of a sound now I did notice on the 4XX the uh, the treble was still hot with both pads I actually I think it was more to do with um, the track itself but I found that with the Deconis um, 9 or 10k was a little bit um, essy and but you know I still found that same issue with the uh, the focus pads so uh, Intuit reviews told me that for him um, the issue and the treble is more apparent on the focus pads and less apparent on the Deconis now he's probably right because I think it was just the tracks I was listening to it was bad timing but um, the Deconi pads are just they're incredible they're really comfortable they're uh, likely a memory foam inside of there as well. And um, yeah, you can easily swap these pads out, uh, swap the focus pads for these, and you'll have a fantastic headphone uh, with no issues. So the other problem with the focus pads is they're expensive to replace. I looked online, they're around $40, and I would never, ever, ever <laughs> pay that, um, you know, considering everything I just told you about them. So reason number two, to purchase a Hi-Fi Man headphone is that um, one, I'm going to just roll this these two into one, one they are really affordable if you go with the 400 series and two being that it's a planar magnetic it's not as heavy as something like an Odyssey so uh, I don't know if I could ever own an Odyssey because of uh, my neck issues my disc issues and the fact that they're just very very heavy uh, you, you're getting the planar sound here at a weight that's manageable and um, that you can wear over the long term so the headphones themselves are very comfortable um, I can wear these for quite a bit without having to really make any adjustments maybe some minor ones but um, yeah you can get a 4XX on uh, Mass Drop uh, Drop formerly Mass Drop for around $130 
Uh, the prices do vary, but you know, they're always running really good deals. I'll place a link below. You guys can check it out. But yeah, third reason why you should purchase a hi-fi main headphone is because of um, the bass and the sub bass specifically now. I caught you a delicious bass. Hi-Fi Man's bass reminds me a lot of Odyssey's in that it's mostly a flat line. The original 400S's bass did roll off uh, more, which contributes to its, I guess, more relaxed type of sound. It's, it's, it's more feathery in its presentation. There's not as much bass slam. I still like that headphone, but I do think um, it would be more worth it to invest in something like a 400i or a 4xx. Yeah, the bass is just absolutely incredible. Uh, sub bass, those really low notes you can actually hear, uh, they're very textured and nuanced and detailed, but they still retain a, a great sense of impact. So if you're a bass head, this is like the perfect type of headphone um, if you're coming from something like an M50X or uh, M1, v Mode M100. This type of um, bass is more realistic in presentation and you'll likely fall in love with it. Uh, I, I did really like the M50s but I, I appreciate the bass, how it's done here a lot better as I've um, gotten more experience with headphones over time. So so the fourth reason why you should buy a Hi-Fi Man headphone is because of its smooth, detailed, realistic sound and um, great resolution. Now. Being a planar, you're getting, you're just gonna get a more um, uh, smoother, more not relaxed. I mean, it's it's very um, realistic sounding. It's very uh, true to the source, but it's also very enjoyable. One of the best experiences that I've ever had in being a audiophile, I guess I'm not, don't really consider myself one, but uh, I was listening, and I tell this story a lot. I was listening to through a Bryson. Uh, BHA1 with the 400 eyes and a very good quality source file which is super important uh, no less but uh, the sound of Over the Hills and Far Away by Led Zeppelin was just incredibly um, lifelike it had a lot of uh, thump and detail and texture but it was just it was seriously one of the best um, experiences that I've ever had listening to music bar none and it's one of those things that um, everybody should get a chance to experience. And, you know, being how affordable high, uh, headphones are these days, it's really a no brainer. So, the fifth and final reason why you should buy a Hi Fi Man headphone is because of the soundstage and timbre. So, soundstage, I wouldn't say it's um, incredible or anything, but it's definitely better than average. You're going to start to hear things uh, in all directions. Good width to the image. Pretty pretty good, really good spacing actually. These make um, good gaming headphones where I probably wouldn't uh, recommend an HD600 for gaming. Um, uh, a Hi-Fi Man is definitely a step up in that department. But the instrument timbre, which goes hand in hand with the Led Zeppelin uh, track that I was telling you guys about, it's just the instruments were so true to life uh, that it was really astonishing. I'm incredibly familiar with the way that the drums and the bass come in, but the way the Hi-Fi Man's rendered it was just incredible. So, yeah, basically if you're looking for a headphone in this price range or of this caliber and you're just maybe getting your feet wet with planar magnetics, it's definitely the way to go. A 4XX or a 400i, even though you know, some of the newer models are a bit uh, suspect as far as build. But if you were to go that route, I would definitely uh, suggest getting a, a pair of replacement pads and just going with the 4XX because of the fact that I don't really know how reliable an original 400i is going to be nowadays. The build on the 4XX is a little bit heftier than a 400S, probably around the same as a 400i. The only real differences are the padding. On the 400i you had the, um, the piece of metal that, that draped over the top and then um, just a, a thin pad, which it was pretty comfortable. Um, yeah, so I would definitely, if, if I was gonna recommend one of these, I would either go with the 400, uh, 4XX or uh, the Sundar, which is built better than the 400i. So yeah, and I'll leave links to all these 
down below my articles and all that stuff and um, so yeah those are three reasons not to buy a hi-fi main headphone and five more reasons why you should I hope you enjoyed this discussion leave me some love down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you like what I do here and you want to support the channel hit that patreon link down below and always remember don't be the troll yeah 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 yeah, check, 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 check. Review brought to you by Stu. Here's the coda. I'm nasty on the mic. Call me warm soda. Chopped up this beat real fine, like cold produce. Steady in my veggies so I can focus. On my David Copperfield, y'all hocus pocus. A little loopy when I wrote this. Esoteric dopeness. Cultivating the will of a soldier. Fighting through the pain like Dooku. I told ya, sold you on my style. Snapping on cats like Private Pile. I get Semi wild every once in a while. 911 on the dial. Alone at the top with no rival. Dark is my world without a Bible. Without God's love, there's no survival. So my mindset is tribal. Yeah, my mindset is tribal. Yeah, yeah, my mindset is tribal.